This is Al from the local music scene, and standing next to me are the members of Alighieri from Tracy, California. Welcome to the show, guys. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Fantastic. Uh, my name is Brandon. I play guitar. Adam. I'm Joseph. I do vocals. And I play keyboards on the side. And then I'm Kyle. I'm the soon-to-be guitarist. And I'm Brandon. Also Brandon. Well, first of all, how'd you guys uh, come up with the name? Joe. Oh, okay. Well, uh, well, uh, as you know, our band name is Alighieri. Um, I was reading a copy of this fine book that's called The Inferno, which is written by a man named Dante Alighieri. And uh, I'll keep a long story short. He was uh, very creative in the way that he went about writing this book and being a, a person that was uh, really into his church and really um, into his religion and everything. He thought outside of the box in many different ways. And our, our, our band isn't really like leaning towards religion or against it or you know for politics or anything like that. But we just like the idea of what he stood for and his ideas. And so we kind of borrowed his last name and turned it into I a I think band. it just sounds cool. And it and sounds it, different. And it sounds different too. I, well, I think it sounds cool. I think you know, it's a mixed reaction. Every, uh, so. every tech metal band has to have a name you can't read. Yeah. <laughs> that means there's, yeah. there's that too. Yeah. On the fly. Yeah. And New Times Rowan's too. We, we figured to make it as inconvenient as possible for people that possibly like this as well. It's hard to remember, to and it's us. weird, and it's got a story behind it. So regardless if the story has any relevance, I don't really think it does. But <laughs> it just sounded cool. We're like, dude, that's interesting. Nobody has it. Yeah. It's hard to find a band name. You know? yeah, it, it really yeah, is. It is. Finding yeah. a band name is the worst it's part. It's like the, the shittiest part, because then like yeah. you might have really good songs, but if your band name is stupid, then no one's going to listen to yeah. it. Yeah. Exactly. Or actually vice versa. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. It's true. So, how long have you guys been together? Um, it kind of started as a fluke. I think it started in like 2006. Um, me and Joe were in another band and just kind of didn't... I don't know, I wasn't really feeling like the kind of style, I guess. And I kind of wrote some of my own songs and, you know, showed them to him eventually and then it just kind of like snowballed. And then we had a couple lineup things but we managed to get, I think, some pretty solid guys so far. And yeah. We all kind yeah, of have the same... Handsome. handsome guys, yeah. Because yeah. Lord <laughs> knows we need our image. For the millions of people we play for. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it kind of started out as just like a little side project, I guess, and then it just kind of turned into something that we all, I hope that we all feel passionate about. Guilty. <laughs> so uh, what are your, your plans for like the rest of this year? CD, music video, what are the plans for the remaining of the, of the 2009? We're supposed to be, uh, um, we have a new set that's been written. Yeah, actually, we, we already wrote a few new songs, and uh, we're actually tightening them up, and then uh, we're hoping to record in the next two months or so. And after that, we're going to you know, get this whole CD printed thing, and probably get t-shirts. Actually, we're, we're going to get t-shirts and the CDs, and uh, we've looked at a few other things, possibly booking a tour, because we already have a, a band. So, and a steady place to practice at, too. Yeah, so yeah, it's important. things are starting to come together pretty well. Definitely, everybody kind of brings their own, I think, like everybody, everyone brings their own perspective and their own kind of attributes to the band, you know. It's like, we'll all think of different ideas and just put them together and, you know, a day later we have a van and a day later we have a t-shirt idea and a day later we have songs ideas, you know. Yeah. So it's kind of like, you know, it's a really group effort, which is cool because a lot of bands have like one guy who just does everything. Yeah. Or everyone that has like, gets really offended if their ideas aren't heard and stuff. We all have equal, pretty much, say in everything, so it's cool. Uh, I mean, I, we've seen a lot of different uh, local bands in the area, but uh, your sound is definitely a lot different from the other bands that we've seen. What, what are some of the influences like uh, that you've had out there? Rush. It's hard. Dude, honestly, I think we all can agree it's just really hard to say because everyone... Kitty Lee. I mean... Who? Kitty Lee. Everyone has their own influences. I think musically, the most important thing we want to stay is metal. Like, we want to stay kind of traditional to the point where it's not like, you know, oversaturated, but put like a little bit of different flavors of different genres that have come out, different variants and subgenres that have kind of come out. You know, I mean, he listens to a lot of music I don't like. I listen to a lot of music he doesn't like. Yeah, vice versa. Yeah. Uh, Kyle, pretty much nobody likes his music. Um, <laughs> Joe's into breakdancing too, which like is a super. It's a super kind of um, different perspective, and 
Brandon listens to a bunch. He, Brandon's probably the most, Brandon and Kyle, I think, are the most optimistic when it comes to listening to music. We're all kind of picky about it, so. Yeah, we have a lot of weird influences. A lot of weird influences. Now that we think about a it. A lot of, not even musical, like maybe like food or people or art. <laughs> what is that? We're highly influenced by Taco Bell. <laughs> I'm, I'm influenced by Arizona Iced Tea Sweet Tea, to be exact, the big gallon one. Nice. Uh, about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Orange Jade. Although hard to find. Orange Jade? Orange Jade? They have yeah, that? Here's an orange Jade. Okay, Lucy. Is that Mucho Mango or is that a different one? No, it's Orange Jade. Yeah, so about our influence. It's like yeah, about our influence. It's like <laughs> so what's, what was the uh, story behind the, the song in the company of uh, the blind? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, everybody has those situations in life that... Uh, <laughs> Well, we're, as, as males, we're not always guided by the, uh, the right state of mind. I think I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep it at that. Okay. What, what's your, <laughs> I think, I, I think what, he's, clever. what he's trying to say okay, is... Okay, okay, I, I took a really clever, well, I guess I'm saying clever, but I, 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 I try to be a little more poetic in my approach to writing this song. It, it's, it's actually, it's kind of almost seems like a, like a love song. It, it, and, and some of the details that I not have, really. and some of the wording, but it's really not at all about that. It's I, I think a whole bit. it's definitely it's definitely yeah. about uh, having one of those nights that you regret with a certain somebody that you you don't you're not so proud it's of. The, the blind with. thing. I thought that was really oh, yeah, yeah. the company of the blind. Okay, the song title. Um, well, we all have us as males for the most part all have uh, two heads, and this is kind of vulgar, I guess. So you might want to edit this out, but. Uh, <laughs> Well, one head has eyes and the other one doesn't. <laughs> and uh, basically, being in the company of the blind is like being led around by your penis. Yeah. Uh. I think that's all he had to say. Yeah. You should just edit it to where it says penis. <laughs> yeah. What's that, the, what's that, that, the, that is the, the only song, like, I will say though, that is the only song that is, it has to do with anything slightly or remotely vulgar. I usually don't have any profanity or anything like that. Well, actually, you don't really. I, I really, well, I don't have, have any profanity. profanity. Actually, I just, yeah, that's actually true. Um, I wrote that like a long time ago, and that's you know that was in our EP from 2007. But we wrote those songs like at the end of 2006, and it's well, it's 2009 now. So I mean, you know, the way I write now and the way I write then, or I wrote then is. I still kind of think it holds its place. It's just you know I interpreted it. As, it's poetic in a way. You know, it's none of these guys knew what it meant. It sounds really <laughs> complex. Like upon reading the lyrics, like you read lyrics, and you're like, after this interview, if you know anybody checks it out and goes like to our lyrics. You're probably gonna be like, what? What? This has nothing to do with penises at all. <laughs> but it really does be I mean like kind of like led around by I guess not being in your right mind. And it could be applied not necessarily like sexually, but it could be applied in a lot of different ways. You know, yeah. to each his own, I guess. You know, yeah. so you know, at least that's how I take it. Now, venues. Which uh, places have you guys uh, had the most favorite playing at? Oh man. Um, Stockton Empire was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Stockton Empire the sound there was amazing. The nice because the thing is, with that place is it's like a local place for us because we, you know, get managed to get a lot of our friends out there. A lot of big bands go through there, and then on top of everything, the friends and the bands, the sound is just mind blowing. Yeah. You know, it's a really great place. Now we're at Studio Twenty One here in Rockland, California. Have you guys played at this venue before? We've never even heard yes. of this venue up until We've never even heard of the city the up until... I, I haven't heard of the city <laughs> yeah. up until now. I'm People thinking it's like, oh, Rockin' Hey, but it's, it's really it's nice in there. It's, it's really different. Any city with the name Rockin' I'm just... I know I, was, <laughs> I know, I was ready to rock. <laughs> rock rockin' it, rockin' it. No, yeah, no. It's, it's a really cool place inside, so if you get the footage inside... Yeah. Really nice people, really cool. We're going to check these guys out later on. They're going to be taking the stage in a few minutes, so we're going to film them live in a few minutes here, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for being on the show. Anytime, man.